Meetings Act, as found in the Annotated Code of Maryland, General Provisions Article 3-305-B1, to discuss the appointment, employment, assignment, promotion, discipline, demotion, compensation, removal, resignation, or performance evaluation of appointees, employees, or officials over whom it has jurisdiction or any other personnel matter that affects one or more specific individuals? Is there a second? May I have a roll call vote, please? Mr. Offerman? Yes. Mr. Kuhn? Yes. Ms. Pasture? Yes. Mr. Hayden? Yes. Ms. Adequoya? Yes. Ms. Penn? Yes. Ms. Covey? Yes. Ms. Jost? Yes. Mr. McMillian? Yes. Ms. Mack? Yes. Ms. Scott? Yes. Ms. Rock? Yes. The motion carries. We will now go into closed session. We anticipate opening the meeting again at 7 p.m., 7.05 p.m. Thank you. Good evening. Seeing the time and seeing we have a quorum, I now call to order the special meeting of the Board of Education of Baltimore County for Tuesday, June 18th, 2019. I invite you to rise and recite the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. We will then remain standing for a moment of silence in recognition of those who have served education in Baltimore County. The next item is consideration of the agenda. There are no additions or changes to tonight's agenda, so the agenda stands as presented. The next item of business is new business personnel matters, the consideration of interim superintendent's employment proposal 2019-2020. Mr. Offerman? Yes, I move that the board accept Valita White's resignation effective June 30th, 2020, and the board approve the separation agreement and release between the board and Ms. White that would outline her employment by the board through that date to serve as a consultant in a consultative capacity to the superintendent. Is there a second? Second. Thank you. Is there any discussion? All in favor, please raise your hand. Any opposed? The motion carries unanimously. Thank you. Our next item of business is new business introduction of the new superintendent. This is an incredibly exciting time for Baltimore County Public Schools. Tonight marks a culmination of a six month process that brought us our new superintendent, Dr. Darrell Williams. And we are so thrilled that it did. On behalf of the board, I want to take a moment and thank all those who made the search and its outstanding results possible. To the Maryland Association of Boards of Education, thank you for the training you provided our largely new board on the superintendent search process. To the board's ad hoc committee, Chair Julie Hen, Vice Chair Molly Joes, Russ Kuhn, and Makita Scott, thank you for your work getting the process started by researching the search firms and procurement options and timelines and for organizing and communicating this information with the full board. To my board colleagues, thank you for your dedication, your patience, your commitment, and your investment of hundreds of hours of your precious time to make this happen. To our search firm, Ray and Associates, thank you for your wisdom, for guiding us through this established process and for assisting us every step of the way. To our stakeholders and community members, thank you for your interest and engagement and for providing robust input by participating in the community forums, the focus groups, and the online survey where we received almost 5,000 responses. Finally, to our families, friends, education advocates, and to all Team BCPS, 
Thank you for your support, not only during the search process, but in the transition in the weeks and the months ahead. On behalf of the Board of Education of Baltimore County, I'm excited to officially welcome and introduce our new superintendent, Dr. Dara Williams. Dr. Williams comes to Baltimore County highly recommended and with a solid and lengthy track record of success for students in Montgomery County Public Schools. His focus on supporting all students in every school gives us every confidence in his ability to deliver outstanding results for Baltimore County. Prior to joining Team BCPS, Dr. Williams served as the Area Associate Superintendent of K-12 through schools in eight clusters in Montgomery County Public Schools. In this capacity, he supervised three directors of learning, achievement, and administration, as well as nine instructional specialists of learning and achievement. Together, they coached, supported, and evaluated eight high school principals, two specialty school principals, 15 middle school principals, and 44 elementary school principals serving approximately 67,000 students. He served on his superintendent's executive leadership team and a variety of work groups and committees to improve teaching and learning in the school system. Prior to these positions, Dr. Williams served two years as the associate superintendent of 38 middle schools and two years as the community superintendent for the Damascus, Gaithersburg, Magruder, and Watkins Mill clusters. Dr. Williams earned his Bachelor of Science degree in Mathematics from Hampton University and his Master's of Arts degree in Educational Administration from American University and completed his doctoral degree from the University of Maryland College Park. He is a native Washingtonian and began his teaching career as a mathematics teacher at Banneker Academic High School. He left DC Public Schools in 1994 to start a career in Montgomery County Public Schools. Dr. Williams is married to Shelley Bronson Williams, and together they have three children who are here this evening, Lauren Williams, Daryl Williams II, and Sydney Williams. They currently reside in Howard County, Maryland. Please help me give a warm welcome to our new superintendent, Dr. Daryl Williams. I've invited Dr. Williams to come and say a few words. Good evening. So good evening, everyone. Good evening. It's been a whirlwind of a day. And so my last meeting, I didn't stick to the script and I had a handheld mic and I talked for about 15 minutes, um, but it was worth it. It was with um, the ESP, BC, and TAPCO, so that was great. But I wanna give you some greetings. So first of all, I would like to thank the Baltimore County uh, School Board of Education for this opportunity. It was a rigorous process, and yet I appreciate this opportunity to serve as the new superintendent of this great school system. As you heard, I am a longtime Maryland educator with 25 years of service in Montgomery County Public Schools. And I'm proud about the six years in DC Public Schools because that's where I grew up. And this role will give me an opportunity to continue my vision and mission about students, success for all students. Everything that I do, everything that we do, is for each and every student in our great school system. Baltimore County Public Schools is a strong school system. We don't have to be sick in order to get better. Michael Jacobson. In every school system, there are outstanding students, staff, leaders, community act, act, uh, advocates, parents, and many success stories. But I do know there are challenges that we have to address with a plan of action and allow the data qualitative and quantitative data to drive our decisions. I feel that in order to tackle these challenges and the work for the next few years, my team and I, along with this great school board, must show the collaborative approach to thinking outside of the box, or simply put, finding innovative ways to deal with our current challenges. We must, and I said this to our principals today, I said it this afternoon, we must raise the bar close our gap, and prepare our students for the future. 
ultimately we want our students to be productive citizens in our, in our county and have the means to support themselves and their families. I also hope to make sure that we have open and transparent communication and to strengthen the trust among, among the adults and between students and adults. Every student needs to have at least one adult, teacher, coach, paraprofessional, building service worker, counselor, whom they trust in their schools. <laughs> Every school needs to have the best principal in the buildings and highly qualified teachers and staff in every classroom. It's critical, it is very critical that our students see us as responsible adults. And this journey for me and our team is an opportunity for new beginnings and celebrating our current successes, yet making some necessary changes at the right time. So again, I thank this board for this opportunity, and I'm willing to do my very best, my very best to lead, inspire, to teach, collaborate, amend, and enjoy this work that I have done as an educator and administrator for over 30 years. And I cannot do this work, I cannot do this work without a very supportive and loving family. And my family, as you heard today, is here, and I must commend them for their patience and tolerance during this process. But as I shared with the cabinet, it's all about family. I value my family, and I value this new family that I joined tonight, I'm sorry, July 1, <laughs> effectively, uh, called Baltimore County Public Schools. So thank you, board. Thank you to those who are here. Thank you for the cabinet, and thank you for all the support that you have given me thus far. just going to say, if um, the Williams family would like to stand to be recognized, we'd also like to welcome you. Our next item of business is announcements. Our next board meeting will be Tuesday, July 9th at 6.30 here in this building with uh, Dr. Williams as our superintendent. Also, I would just ask folks to stay tuned for our website. We'll, we'll, we will be updating uh, additional opportunities that will be coming for um, our folks to meet Dr. Williams as he transitions into the county. Thank you very much, and the meeting is adjourned.